greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Project Daddy's wearing black today. Project Daddy's wearing black today because sometimes we have to say goodbye to friends or so-called friends who are not going to see us on this journey. On this journey to freedom, what kind of freedom? Mental freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom. We're going through traumatic times right now. Project Daddy's wearing black today. American citizens are being murdered on our streets by the state. Hard stop. There's no conversation to be had. There's no discussion. I don't give a fuck what the American citizen was doing. I don't give a shit. Selling cigarettes in the park. Fucking being high at the store. Stealing. I don't give a fuck. You cannot justify an American citizen ever being murdered by the hands of the state. Hard stop. The state should never murder an American citizen. And that includes capital punishment. Hard stop. And if you're my friend or so-called friend and you can't understand that the state should never murder an American citizen, then I don't think that we can be friends. If you try to justify an American citizen being killed by the hands of the state, then I don't think that we can be friends. Context. I'm riding in an Uber. Project Daddy is riding in an Uber. It's Project Daddy Black. The Uber driver Black. Another person in the car, non-Black. So-called friend. Yes, Somehow, as I'm talking about intent and how intent matters, the conversation goes to Derek Chauvin. And I didn't bring Derek Chauvin up, but I quickly addressed it. And I said, this is one of the most politicized murders in the history of America. And maybe we we shouldn't have this conversation in the company of two black men. I don't want to discuss the death of a dead American citizen. I don't want to. The response that I got from the non-black person in the vehicle was, I'll talk about whatever I want to talk about. Hard stop. And as soon as you make that statement, like being a black man in America, I hate doing that shit because the moment I address race, once I say black, I alienate fucking 85, 87% of the total population. As soon as I say black, as soon as I say man, I alienate motherfucking 90% of the population. So it's hard for you to identify with me when I'm not being relatable. Yes. But when you're looking at a black man and you're talking about a dead black man, maybe you should have a little bit of perspective or empathy because I know. That when it comes to having friends, I have to be culturally aware of whatever your situation is. I have to be in tune with what you're in tune with. I'm just saying, if I'm with a woman, I'm not going to sit back and make rape jokes. Because maybe that won't make that person feel comfortable, okay? Tell the truth and get some goddamn power. I don't ever want to talk about race. But for some reason, everyone wants to talk about race with me when they are non-black. It seems to be the only conversation. We could talk about the sun, the moon, the stars, motherfucking religion. Is there a God? Will the angels come save you if you die? I don't care what we have a conversation about, but can we not have a conversation about American citizens being murdered by the hands of the state? Was he doing this or was he doing that? You cannot find a reason to justify American citizens being murdered ever. Hard stop. And that excludes race. And so intent matters. And so if you're having a conversation with a person who is ethnically different than yourself and you want to talk about some type of persecution that that person has experienced or that person's family has experienced, then maybe you're not being empathetic or compassionate to that person's human condition. Maybe you're not respecting the greatest American life. And that includes yourself. So when we're engaging in in relations with other folk, man, we have to fucking care, right? Racism is going to destroy America. And it's not people being absolute racist. It's people fucking trying to lie about being a goddamn racist. Yes, beware of the person who looks you square in your eye and say, I had one black friend. Or if you're Asian, I had one Asian friend. Or if if you're talking, there's a black person talking to a white person. I had one white friend before. Beware of that person because they already have it implanted in their mind. A stereotype about how you are supposed to act as the greatest American alive. No one can define your ethnicity to you. You get to define yourself, right? You're not a motherfucking stereotype or a caricature. And how dare I engage in any type of dialogue with you and have an expectation of you being like some other person that I've met. That's insanity on a human level and to break it down to the micro level based on ethnicity or race. then that's absolutely insane. So like I said, Project Daddy's wearing black today. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.